the bell icon to turn on notifications. Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. In this lesson, I want to show you a couple of different ways that you can extract unique values from a list of information. And this is going to be so useful to you when you're creating dashboards. And you're going to see that as we get towards the end of this course, I use this a lot. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can extract unique values from a list. And what I mean by unique values is if we take a look at the data that we have here, let's just say in column G, you can see that I have government repeated four times, then mid market repeated, then channel partners, so on and so forth. So maybe I want to look through this column and all I want is a list of the unique values. And there are a couple of different ways in Excel that you can do this. And which one you choose will probably be determined by the version of Excel that you're using. If you're using Excel for Microsoft 365 or have the latest version of 2019, then you're more than likely going to have access to the new function available in Excel called Unique. And this function makes it super simple to extract unique values. So let me show you how that works first. Now, what I have here are basically two tables that are the same, but only one of them is an actual Excel table. This first one, if I click in it, you can see it's a table because I have my filter drop downs at the top and I also have access to the table design ribbon. The second table here is not an Excel table. It's basically just data that's been typed into cells. So I want to show you how the unique formula looks depending on if your data is in a table or if it isn't. So if I want to extract a unique list of all of the segments, what I can do is type in equals and use unique. Open the bracket. My first argument here is simply the array. So let's choose this array first of all. And remember, this data isn't in an Excel table. If I close my bracket, you can see I have cell references there, G2 to G21, which is absolutely fine. Hit enter, and there I get my unique list. Let's use unique again, but this time we're going to reference the same column, but in the Excel table instead, because it does look slightly different. I'm going to choose my array. I'm going to choose the same array and close the bracket. But look what we have now. Instead of the cell references, because the data is in a table, Excel is using the table name and also the column heading to know where that cell range lives. So this is basically like a unique address to the data. Sales underscore 2018 is what I named this table. And then segment is the column that I'm working with. When I hit enter, the result is exactly the same, but I just wanted to highlight to you the difference between having data in a table and having data outside of a table when you're working with formulas. So with all that said, the unique function is only available to Microsoft 365 users. So how do you do this if you have an older version of Excel and don't have access to the unique function? Well, again, there are a few different ways that you can do it, but I think the easiest is probably to use the advanced filter to achieve the same result. Now, underneath action, I want to choose copy to another location. If I select filter the list in place, it's basically just going to apply a filter to the area where I'm currently clicked in the table. Now, I want to copy the unique values to column M. So I'm going to say copy to another location. My list range. Well, we're going to choose the segments. I'm not particularly interested in filtering this by any criteria, so I'm going to leave that blank. And we're going to copy it to cell M2. And what I'm going to say here is unique records only and click on OK. So you can see it's extracted that data, but I find with this advanced filter that sometimes you will get some duplicates in here. This is pretty much done the job, but I do have some duplicates. So what I tend to do is use the advanced filter and then I'll just go through and remove the duplicates very quickly. So if I select the entire column on the data tab, we have a remove duplicates button. We're removing duplicates from column M, click on OK, and it's going to get rid of anything it sees as a duplicate. And now we have a unique list. 
And in case you're wondering, this works exactly the same if you're extracting unique values in this way from a table. So let's go to advanced, copy to another location. My list range this time is going to be the segments from the Excel table. I don't want any criteria, but I do want to copy these records to cell M10, unique records only, click on OK. And once again, I'm just going to go in and remove any duplicates. Now, there are other methods for extracting unique values using things like index and match. These two are the easiest, so choose which one you use depending on the version of Excel that you're using. And just one little tip before we leave this lesson. What about if you want to extract a unique list of values, but instead of having them list vertically in the worksheet, you want them to list horizontally. So maybe I want to extract unique values for the region, and I want to display them running horizontally across the worksheet. Now what you'll find is that if you use the unique formula to do this, and let's just select our cell range, it's always going to list them vertically because the data in the table is running vertically. If I was to use unique to extract the headings of this table, because I'm now running horizontally, you'll see that those run horizontally. But what you can't do is use unique to extract unique values. And then once you have them here, do a copy and a transpose to get them running horizontally. If I try to do that, so let's select them, control C, I'm going to go to the home tab and into paste special. And normally transpose will just switch the way that your data is running across the worksheet. So I would expect this to get these to run horizontally across the cells. If I select transpose, you'll see that it doesn't work. But what I can do is add in the transpose function to my unique formula. So let's jump up to the formula bar. And all I'm going to do here is add transpose onto the beginning. My array is generated by my unique formula. Close the bracket, hit enter, and now they're running horizontally. So that's just one quick tip when it comes to working with unique. That's it for this lesson. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get the files the instructor used in this tutorial and follow along, click over there. And click over there to watch more videos on YouTube from Simon Says It.